So Gemini 3.0 and Nano Banana Pro are about to take over the whole AI space and it's all because of the massive upgrades and new capabilities they've just rolled out. And in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down exactly how these updates are reshaping the digital product world. I'm going to be showing you three interesting use cases that you can use both Nano Banana and Gemini together that could be applied to any type of workflow, but I'm going to be focusing specifically on digital products today. The three different methods that I'm going to show you today, I've personally not seen anyone else on the internet talking about them. So you're definitely going to get a lot of information out of this video. So what I'm going to do is just quickly jump onto Gemini just like this. And just so that you're fully aware, I'm using the pro version, but a lot of the things that I'm going to show you, you're going to be able to use the free version of both Gemini and Nano Banana. But let's jump straight into one of the first use cases. Now, as you guys already know, Gemini is directly connected to the Google search database. And of course, when it comes to using it, we all know that we can enter a prompt and it's gonna give us information back. And with the new upgrades with Gemini, you're gonna be able to get more advanced answers depending on what prompts you enter. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean right now. So I'm just going to enter this prompt. What this says is give me a full infographic showing the top trending digital products for 2026 and make it interactive and clickable so that I can get a full summary of each different product based on the Google Trends search data. Rank each one in a clear and easy to read infographic. And stick with me because what it's going to come back with is going to make things a lot more easier for those of you that might be visual. So all you need to do is just click on tools. You could just leave it as it is and it should automatically switch. But if it doesn't, you could just click on tools and then click on canvas and then make sure that you're on the thinking model for you to get the best possible answer. But I'm just going to click on submit and let's see exactly what it comes back with. And straight away, it should come back with something that looks similar to this. Now, this may look really intimidating and a lot of you are probably thinking, Sam, you know, what exactly is it doing? You know, I'm not really sure how to code. Don't worry, you don't need to know coding or anything like that. You just need to wait for it to complete. And once it has completed, it should come back with something that looks similar to this. So as you can see, it's now searched Google Trends has come back with the trending digital products for 2026. Everything you can see on the screen, by the way, I didn't need to design it. I didn't need to structure it. All of this was done directly on Gemini 3.0. And if I just make it full screen so that we can get a better look, this is something that I've been using for so many different reasons, but I'm just showing it to you using the digital product example. But as you can see, it's clearly laid out the number one to number 10 best digital products in terms of people that are searching for them anyway. And again, this is really helpful because Google, as we all know, is the number one search engine in the entire world. And the fact that they've tapped into the AI space and they've given us all of these different free AI tools that we can use for us to find out useful information to point us in the right direction is really mind blowing because again, you don't need to pay for anything I've just shown you. So whatever type of information you're looking for, if you want to be able to view it in a visual way, this is definitely a way that you can do it. So as we can see, these are the different types of products that it came back with, but let me just double check this one. And the best part is that you can click into it for you to get even more information. It's come back with a trend score, it's come back with the search volume, it's also come back with this as well. The trending keywords, you know, it's letting me know that people are searching for things to do with make.com. And this seems to be the case. If I just go over to Google Trends, we can see that ever since 2022, more and more people have gone onto Google to search for make.com and the reason why this is helpful for me specifically is because I use make.com when it comes to building out various different AI automations. For example, if I log into my make.com account over here, this is one of the automations that I use when it comes to an AI agent that I've built for it to automatically publish blog articles to a Shopify store. And with make.com, I'm actually able to save this and give it to someone for completely free. I can maybe sell it to them if I want, you know, I could do whatever with it. But the point is Google Gemini was able to come back and let me know that this is what people are searching for on the internet, which now creates an opportunity. And this is something that I wouldn't have known without the help of Google Gemini. And again, you can use this in whatever way that you want. I'm just using it in this case for this example, but for the rest of this video, I'm going to be sticking with this type of digital product, which is autonomous AI agents. And I'm just going to be using it as an example in the sense of me maybe building a website, making it available for people that want to use the different AI agents that I've built. 
And along the way, I'm going to be showcasing how Nano, Banana and Gemini are going to be able to assist me. But before I move over to one of the next ways that it's going to be able to help me, I'm just going to quickly build a website using Hostinger's AI website builder. I'm going to call it AI Agents Magic. And the description that I'm going to type in is this website sells pre-made AI automation agents that people can plug and play instantly. Super simple prompt. And I'm just going to click on create a website. Okay, so as we can see, Hostinger's AI website builder has gone straight to work. It's writing out the content. It's looking for matching pictures. It's picking the right colors for the brand. It's experimenting with font styles and just generally designing the entire website. And just like that, as we can see, the site has now been built. So this is the one that I'm going to be using for the remainder of this video. I'm going to be using it in a way of combining and integrating Gemini as well as Nano Banana in a couple of different ways. So now that I've got the site set up with Hostinger, there's going to be some things that I need to do to it. So if I just come over here to the editor, I'm just going to come to store. I'm going to click on products and I'm just going to remove all of these different placeholder products. So I'm just going to select them just like that. Click on delete. And what I'm going to do now is just click on add product. And by the way, everything I'm showing you is just an example. But let's assume that I wanted to add a completely new product to this website. I'm just going to click on digital product just like that. And for those of you that don't know, Hostinger has this option where all you need to do is upload an image. What it's going to be able to do with that image is automatically pull the title, subtitle and description. And since Gemini has already told me that people are searching for things to do with make.com and AI agents, let's say if I wanted to export this blueprint from my own account, I could do that by clicking on export blueprint. From there, it's going to give me this entire code. And this is what people are going to use when it comes to replicating this entire scenario that you can see on the screen. But for me to get the main cover image that I'm going to use on the website, I could just go back over to Gemini. What I'm going to do is just enter in this prompt. And what this says is give me a high quality digital product mockup to upload to my website for a digital product called Shopify blog AI automation. Ensure the mockup looks 3D as well as a box designed on the table. I might have not said that right, but you guys get the point. So essentially what Nano Banana is going to be able to do with the new upgrade in comparison to the 2.5 version to the latest pro version that we have is that it's able to create high quality images. Before, I wouldn't say that it was too bad, but there was always maybe issues when it came to the text that was going to be on the image. Maybe there was going to be an issue when it came to the final quality of it. It might have been a little bit blurry, but they've again made some improvements to it. So we're going to see exactly what it's able to come back with. So I'm just going to use this prompt. I'm going to click on tools. I'm going to click on create images. And from there, what I'm going to do is just click on submit. And just like that, within one minute or even less than that, it was able to come back with the image that I requested. So I'm only using this one just to kind of showcase the potential of Nano Banana Pro. I'm not saying that I would definitely use this image on my website because I can ask it to create any type of image that I want. I just wanted to show you the fact that it has actual text on it that is correct. It doesn't look weird like how some AI image generation tools put their text on the image. You know, everything is realistic. I'm sure that you probably couldn't tell that this is an AI image if you were to see it on the internet anywhere else. And with what I'm showing you, you're going to be able to do the exact same thing with whatever use case that you have. Whether you want to create an image for Instagram, maybe Facebook, maybe some sort of marketing campaign, you're going to be able to enter a prompt and get an image back instantly. But let's say if I wanted to use this one, all I need to do is click on download and you're going to be able to do that again for completely free. And then what I'm going to do is just quickly jump back on to Hostinger, click on this option over here. I'm then going to select the image that I downloaded from Nano Banana. And what Hostinger is going to do is pull all of the information directly from the image so that you don't have to fill it out yourself. So that's basically how it works. Let me just fill out this information over here. I'm just going to put this just like that. And it's going to be in this section where I would drag the file that I got from make.com. And just like that, if I just scroll down, we could see the product is now available on the site so that people can click into it and check it out if they wanted to. But swiftly moving on to one of the next capabilities of Nano Banana, which is the fact that it can produce a full 
A4 PDF guide that you can give out again for whatever reason if you want to give it out maybe as a lead magnet if you want to give it out as a freebie or if you want to give it out for some sort of payment you're going to be able to do that so I'm going to be using a simplistic demonstration just to kind of walk you through it so we're going to be using the entire website that I've just built right now. And let's assume that I wanted to build a PDF guide that was going to be given away as a freebie for me to get someone's email address in exchange. I'm going to be able to enter this prompt directly into Nano Banana. What this says is I want you to make an A4 image for a PDF guide titled eight benefits to using AI agents. Give me the full eight benefits and a prompt for Nano Banana to make an A4 image, it needs to be readable in terms of the text and clear images. So what this is, is me using Gemini initially to get the prompt that I'm now going to paste into Nano Banana if I didn't make that clear earlier. So what I'm gonna do is just click on submit. And within a few seconds, it should come back with everything that's going to go onto the PDF guide. So it's come back with the eight benefits, just like I asked it to do. It's given, you know, the details of it. And it's also given me a prompt for Nano Banana that has all of the information. So I didn't need to structure the PDF guide myself. I didn't need to come up with the information in it. Gemini was able to do half the work and now Nano Banana is going to do the remaining 50 percent so i'm just going to copy the code just like that go over to a brand new page i'm going to click on create image once again i'm going to paste everything that i just got from gemini 3.0 in there just like this and i'm going to click on submit okay and once again it was able to do exactly what i told it to do now if you wanted to be a little bit more specific you could tell it to use a specific color code you can tell it to do whatever you want I'm just trying to keep this video as simple as possible, but here we go. This is the A4 image that's going to be turned into a PDF guide. And if I just zoom in slightly, we can see all of the text is clear. We can read it. There's no jumbled up text like what it normally does. So this is the good thing about the upgrades that Nano Banana and Google has made. And there's so many different use cases when it comes to doing this. You can essentially use this when it comes to producing an entire ebook that you can give away as a lead magnet. You can sell it. You can use it to create various different types of digital products. And you can use it for things like print and demand as well. But now that I've got this image that I can turn into a PDF document, I'm just going to show you what I would personally do when it comes to using it on the website that I've just built. So what I can do is come back over here to the editor click into AI tools and what Hostinger is going to allow me or you to do is create a section using AI and in the section what I'm going to do is add a section that will allow me to capture people's email addresses in exchange for a free PDF guide about AI agents. So this is really helpful because once you've entered a prompt like this you could just click on this button and right there, as you can see, if I just scroll down, the section has now been added. So when someone lands on this website, if they just enter their email address, I don't know, example at gmail.com. Once they click on get guide, of course, I need to set things up on the back end of my Hostinger account, but they're going to automatically receive that freebie that I was able to make from Nano Banana. And I do want to emphasize that everything I've shown you so far in this video is just for demonstration purposes, just to get you thinking, just to educate you on how all of these different AI tools work. That's the main purpose of this video. And of course, if you wanted to go away, maybe build your own website using AI with the help of Gemini and all of these different AI tools using Hostinger, you're going to be able to do that using the link in my description down below. I'm going to leave all the information down below when it comes to building your website in the most simplistic way and how you can also get a discount using the discount code in my description as well. But for the most part, those are some of the most interesting ways that I've personally found when it comes to using both Gemini and Nano Banana. Of course, there's some other ways and I've got many other videos coming out over the next couple of days. So be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you don't miss those videos. But in the meantime, if you want to watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago, where I break down some other interesting ways that you can use Nano Banana Pro, methods that I've not seen anyone on the internet talking about, you're going to be able to watch that video by clicking the link right there. Check that out straight after this because that video has already helped out so many people. And I'm sure if you're able to watch it, from start to finish, it can also help you out as well. But other than that, guys, I'm going to catch you on the next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.